Welcome guys, I believe this is my fifth Lost Caverns of Ixalan quick draft. Uh, let's jump straight into it. First quick draft of 2024. So I had a look at this. Um, so this is going to run until a week on Tuesday. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, Sentinel of the Nameless City, 3-4 Vigilance. As the battlefield or attacks, it gets a map token. Seems really good, honestly. Let's grab that. Playing green. Really good 3-drop. Um, I think we'll focus on just these uh, uncommons, so... Not a bad little flyer there for white. Staunch crewmate, this is for the artifacts and pirates deck. It's card ad cheap card advantage. But we've got twists and turns. Alright, we've so actually seeing this early. And it's explore. Guess what maps do? Maps let you Explore, so it actually does synergize with the Sentinel. It transforms into the Mycoid Maze, which lets you dig four creatures. Okay. Card advantage. Not bad. Um, so I'm very tempted to get that. Now this, I know this guy is good so you can uh, for four mana this is a another fight spell as well as a creature so it's you know it's two in one it's card advantage really good uh but if i go for twists and turns it i get to stay mono green I'm slightly more flexible i'm getting to use a card that i've not used yet before in a deck that where i've already got synergy so I, i'm going to go for twists and turns and we're just we're looking for map tokens and explore. Uh, descend. You descend each time a permanent card is put into your graveyard from anywhere. Right. Make sure we understand the mechanics here. Uh, let's let's think about this. This this makes you an enchantment. This is an enchantment that makes your creatures grow. Um, and you can make a, for 7 mana, you can make a 4-3 flyer. So that, that's something that can end the game. Not cheap, but uh, yeah, could be pretty handy. You need you need uh, to build a deck around this. Ixali's Law Keeper. Okay, this is a mana dork that only works with dinosaurs. Hmm. So, taking this as committing to green, well, it could be green red or green black dinosaurs. There are there are black dinosaurs. The volatile fault. Uh, yeah, useless. Pretty almost completely useless, right? Thousand moons crack shot. Uh, yeah, tap creatures. We don't necessarily want to go dinosaurs, so we're going to look at these green cards. In the presence of ages. Okay, three mana, top four cards. You can put a creature or land into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. So you're, so you're milling yourself as well. Uh, and it's too expensive, isn't it? For three mana, that's not very good, I would say, honestly. Then we get a giant growth effect. Blue hidden cataract. You can one of these lands you can do a discover effect. Uh, I have to look through these to see if anything uh, is amazing. Sunshot militia seems quite good. Well, at least I see people using that. Big creature. Big creature. Uh, that 
one might be all right. I think, okay, we'll take the, I think because these green cards are underwhelming, I'll take the law keeper because it, it could be green red, it could be green black, right? We might get some dinosaurs. We may very well drop this in the grand scheme of things. Okay, this is a golem with trample. Interesting, it's up artifacts or creatures. Two artifacts or creatures. You pump two power. And it's target creature. It doesn't even have to be this one, although obviously it's got trample. This looks great, honestly. Uh, then we've got, yeah, cool white artifact. Oh, the soaring sandwing. This is a dinosaur. It's got plane cycling. I like that. I think that is a possibility. Distinct possibility. I didn't think I'd go green white dinosaurs. It might be the only dinosaur in white, honestly. Um, but we've got to remember we don't have to go dinosaurs. Um, there's probably more dinosaurs in red than in white, honestly. Um, and yeah, the green cards here are very underwhelming. I do not want these particularly... Uh, gold. I see myself winning games with Gold Fury Strider, though. Soaring Sandwing kind of helps you stabilize. You get three life. They're, they're both game winners in their own way, I suppose. Um, okay, I'll, I'm going to take the Soaring Sandwing, because it's a dinosaur. I don't know if I can go green-white dinosaurs. Maybe that is a silly idea. There's another one. Okay. Maybe I can. Okay, bat colony. Not seen this before. Right. Create a 1-1 one -one bat creature token with flying for each mana from a cave spent to cast it. Neat. Whenever a cave enters the battlefield, you get a plus 1, plus 1 pump. So... Kind of cool, but you need loads of caves. Um, I don't really want to draft loads of caves just to make this thing work. It is white. I could I could just take another soaring sandwing because it's pretty good. Um, and the green thing is the Caslam's stone tree, which isn't bad. It ramps out a land. It crafts with a cave, so this thing needs caves as well. We can't get away from needing caves, I think. This is a dinosaur. Um, we don't want to go three colors particularly. Maybe uh, maybe we double down on our soaring sand wings, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, red-white. Okay, maybe we go three colors. Let's think about this. And that just discovers three. Um, that does seem good for tapping for tapping a couple of things. Then there's a cave. Not seeing many green cards at all. That does two damage to something. That does a lot of damage to something. That's a good removal spell. I think I want to take this cool creature, though. No, I haven't seen anyone play Contested Game Ball. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, we're going to end up going red anyway, because it's only giving me red cards, so Dino Tomaton, I think, is potentially it, or uh, Panicked Altasaur is a reach creature for five. 
So they're both, well, this has got menace, this has got reach. So another way of stopping flyers. Uh, one damage to each opponent and each creature they control. Okay, I think it's quite splashable, the panicked autosaur, so I'm going to grab that. And this thing just taps and does damage, doesn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. It's it's inc it's very good indeed. I think. Maybe you discover discover again for the same value. Yeah, that's fun. Hot foot gnome. It's a three drop. I'll go for the curator. That that. We're three colors definitely now, so um, yep. There's just there were there were just no green cards later on in the pack. Um, that's a discover card. Oh, that explores. So that goes well with twists and turns. If we remember all the way back to pick two, <laughs> we were trying to get explore things. Um, I mean that's all right, but I think I think we'll get we'll chuck in a secret somewhere. So that is a two a red two drop that goes well with dinosaurs. I like the yeah mine shot spider is quite good. We've got we've got a couple of flyers. We've got one reach creature. I don't like the fact that it mills me for two when I'm not. Doing a milling strategy. Uh, this makes a map token, which is good for exploring stuff. And it's good, definitely good if you're trying to hit your land drops, hit hit different colours of land. We have no two drops yet, though. That is a slight issue. Although we've got the two soaring sand wings to find planes. I might uh, actually take a Burning Sun Cavalry just to get my first two drop. Okay, Volatile Fault is the terrible card. Really awful. You never want to pick that. I suppose it might, maybe you like you can tap it for colorless mana. Um, you're never going to use the ability, I think. Um. Daring Discovery, sure. Not thrilled about it, but uh, we'll grab it. Uh, staggering Size or Disturbed Slumber. I think I might use Disur Disturbed Slumber. It's a two drop. And I'll take a four drop. Golem. Okay, sure. Okay, might be pivot time. Bloodletter of Aklazots. Two for flying, and your opponent will lose twice the amount of life that they would ordinarily lose. Uh, that seems really good. Is it good enough we abandon our strategy and... Uh, we go all in on this. I think no. I think uh, we get ri we just sideboard that. I don't think we're playing black. I don't think it's good enough. I think it's basically a four-four flyer for four with you know three, where you kind of want to go mono black to have a chance of playing it. Um, this probably loses more games than it wins, honestly. Okay, market gnome. Gain one life, draw a card when it dies. It's like uh, it's almost like bottle gnomes. Oh, and if you craft with it, you gain one life and draw a card. That is sweet. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, it's it's pretty good, but. Are we 
Are we going for early white cards? Really? Not not really. Uh dowsing device. It's one of these non creature, non removal things. Ugh. I can't imagine it's gonna do anything other than take up a, a a creature slot. Right, adaptive gem guards are is is uh definitely a threat. Quicksand Whirlpool is actual removal. I think we should think about that. We've got the Seismic Monstrosaur. I think possibly the more of these the better actually. Might Do we take it over a removal spell? I don't think so. Okay, we've got two of these. Hopefully one of these will wheel around. I'll take the removal spell. Okay, blue red pirate stack, I guess. Definite, definite lack of two drops. Oh wait, I say lack of two drops. There is the poison dart frog. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we take that frog. Atoli's favor. I think I decided this is not all that good. Oh, makes a treasure token. I do like this. Yeah, that, that could help me a lot. Um, I want the plundering pirate. <gasps> Classic Thrashing Brontodon. It's a pretty awesome dinosaur. Uh, there is the Forest Cycling Dinosaur. I'll take a Thrashing Brontodon. Please. Okay. Earthshaker Dreadmoor, yeah. Um... Colossal Dreadmoor's cousin, uh, and it gives you card advantage. Why am I looking at these other cards? Obviously, that is the card. Burning Sun Cavalry, that's our two drop. Well, also Malamet Brawler. Well, that can give something trample. That can be 3-3. Three, three. And I've got a few dinosaurs, so this is probably going to be better most of the time. Right, Monstrosaur is the Mountain Cycler. And then we've got, we can have the Forest Cycler. Huh. I will take the uh, the mountain cycler. Interesting, Zoyawa. Zoyoa's Justice. Um, it's a 
good chance that you use this on a big creature and they will get something weaker. Possibly even something useless. Sometimes, just once in a while, this is a, a removal spell. I think it's interesting. I might use it. I've not tried it before. The other cards are uninspiring. Um, I'm taking it. Okay, adaptive gem guard, burning sun cavalry again, or this nurturing bristleback. Uh, yeah, we'll take the forest cycling one. Uh, can I get any use out of sorcerer spyglass? Oh, you can look. You can look at the hand and then choose a card name. Activated abilities. Can't be activated. Okay, yeah, sideboard that. Kind of leap or staggering size. I'll take a staggering size. We didn't take any lands yet, so we're just one card off a deck. Target is always uh, 23 cards. Subterranean Schooner. Sideboard that one. Obviously just red rafting there. Okay, Guardian of the Great Door. We are definitely splashing white here. Um, I'm not convinced we can get uh, d double white very easily, otherwise that would be a, a re really good card to go for. Swashbuckler's Whip seems quite good. We go for a di Dinotomaton. How many creatures do we have? S oh, we actually have 17 creatures. Okay. We have about one removal spell. Which uh, seems not enough. Let's say we need a couple of uh, two drops, and three three drops. Get a nicer mana curve. I will take this dinosaur. What about the River Herald Guide? Yeah, we need the three drop more, and this has explore. So, yeah, let's let's go for the three drop. Okay, um, two damage to any target. Okay, well the Stomp is a pretty good dinosaur, and there's another River Herald Guide, which is a good three drop. I think I'll take this sort of removal spell. Thundering Pirates, we're a big fan of. Cast and Stone Tree is quite good as well. We don't have any caves yet, do we? So we don't want to have to get caves. Pirate just does the same job. Kind of. Two drop dinosaur. Oh, that's nice. Okay, it gets a power boost. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, mana fixing, mana rock thing that can turn into a flyer. Uh, so, pretty good. Another three drop, which could be useful. Never picked up a companion, actually. Uh, maybe we need a sunbird standard. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and grab that. Another plundering pirate always seems uh, pretty good. Probably, yeah, I feel like it's better than uh, Cartographer's Companion. Oh, I do need uh, uh, map tokens, I suppose, for twists and turns. We, we might drop twists and turns. I'll take a plundering, plundering pirate. So we've got, uh, got three of those now. So I can check on here again. We've got enough three drops. I'd like another two drop, maybe another four drop. Alright, buried treasure or a hidden volcano. I think we just, we take the hidden volcano here. Because I think it's doing a similar thing as the buried treasure. Without taking up a deck slot, basically. Run away boulder, sure. Yeah, and that can attack as a 4-4. Four, four. This is a disenchant. Oh, you can use it as an explore card. Okay, maybe that's good. So uh, we have a we have a little bit of tidying up to do. I think uh, maybe first decision: do we just cut white from the deck? It means we could cut some supporting cards. We wouldn't need Sunbird Standard. Should have to have to decide how good two soaring sandwings are, and whether I'll be able to cast them. Spl can I splash for a double white thing? I've got to sort of plane cycle it to get planes in the first place. I've got Cap uh, Rock T Sunborn, which I've not tried yet, but it seems quite good. And we've got one removal spell. So I think it's, uh, yeah, we didn't really get enough white cards to justify playing white. I think Runaway Boulder. Um, it is, well, no, maybe, let's think about playing this. But yeah, six mana removal spell is a bit, a bit much. But it's, at least it's got cycling, I suppose, like, uh, these other things. I think, yeah, we're not going to play, so, uh, Oh, we are playing the discovery bonus thing. We've got curator. Uh, if I just if I just cut all the discover cards, I don't need to play the curator. So let's cut the discover cards and see what that leaves us with. We have a couple. Suppose yeah, we've got the one land we can keep, but uh, 
is we we want to focus on explore and keep as many explore cards. So that's the trouble. You can't keep every single uh, mechanic in the deck. You want to focus on one or two, I think. That's an explore card. Oh yeah, we can cut it just up. Slumber, that's fine. Uh, this is a kind of a discover card. This is kind of a weird removal spell. I think maybe we cut it. Um, then we can still keep all three Burning Sun Cavalry, Belligerent, ye belligerent Yearling, and then we get to keep Twists and Turns. Uh, it, still, it makes sense because we do have Dinosaurs. And so it's pretty painless. We've just we've kept the explore theme. We've kept the dinosaur theme. Um, and we've even got we've kept, we've kept the boulder. It's just a a late game removal spell. I don't know about these two di disrupt and wonder glyphs, but I suppose we don't have many four. Uh, there are our four drops, right? Okay. We'll just I don't know if we have a dinosaur uh, card back. So obviously of vital importance. Yes, back to the top. Um, yeah, a few new ones down here, right. Uh, I will grab this one. Get the uh, get rock monster. All right, I think I'll call that end of part one. Thanks for watching so far. Okay, yeah, I've not made any changes. So um, yeah, this this looks good to me. We just cut. As I say, just cut the discover mechanic from the deck. Um, we don't, it means we don't have to cut anything else. We don't, we don't have any difficult choices. So we can just get get on with our lives and start playing the games. Uh, right, add that to the deck, uh, the uh, list of decks. And let's go. Okay, we got a couple of three drops. Got the perfect land, really. We got potentially a turn six runaway boulder. Or even, dare I say, a turn five runaway boulder with that blundering pirate. Okay, Earth Shaker at Dreadmoor. So. This is a fast start. Smack for two and turn two. Now, oh, is it? We got two mana. We got. We can start um, cycling things. Are we really going to play this seven drop creature? Well, it's a good one because it makes. It gives me two blockers when I do get that. We're taking three. Uh, so I feel like I want to keep the boulder. No, I think I've got two mana up. Um, we, we just drop that. It's, it is seven mana to cast that. I think it's a bit unlikely. Strip a land out of the deck. And play the we'll play the Brontodon. If I had a five drop I would play the pirate, but I don't have a five drop. I think looks like he missed a land drop. That 
is good news for us. Uh, okay, something bad's going to happen to Mr. Brontodon here, but I don't mind. It's the Fungal Fortitude. Okay. Right. Well, Fungal Fortitude is no longer in his hand, so that's good news. <coughs> and it comes back without the token, so... We did something, I suppose. Uh, okay, twists and turns. You want to play that after the, pi the pirate, because... You get to do, um, you get to actually explore with something, which is really good. Do we want a frog? Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, tithing Blade has got me. Ah, there goes the pirate. To the dome. As he missed another land drop, that is unfortunate for him. We have six mana. Um, we will just have to see how many things he's got. I'm going to make sure I play this thing properly. See how many well see how many tithing blades he has here. I bet he's got three in his hand or something. Two more at least. I wouldn't be surprised. Which is why you should play the poison dart frog first. Yeah, now I think of it. Never mind. So this enhances Yeah, he's dead. He just uses a why is that so cheap? Discard a card or pay three life. Oh, I see. Pay three life to kill that. I don't feel so bad because it wasn't, a, at least it wasn't a tithing blade. That would have been a, a slap in the face. Um, okay, poison dart frog. So he's got a very, very low to the ground deck, gotta say. Do we <laughs> trade off with the frog? Do we? I mean, it's not looking good. We've got an 11 life. Might, we might have to trade with a one, a scary one-two creature. But then again, that leaves us open to more tithing blades. So, glorifier of suffering. Ah, yes, that is a good one. So he can get rid of his sacrificial creature. Oh no, he can get rid of that. Yes, even better, and keep all of his creatures. Right. So he's he's spreading the love. Um, I think this gets death touched and a turn. It's it's a bit too much damage now. We take out a two three. We've got a river herald guide. We've got runaway boulder. Um, or an Earthshaker Dreadmoor. And we just see, he's got two cards in a top deck, see if he has another removal spell. He's, so far he's had uh, one, two, and a combat trick. Uh, otherwise, this is basically uh, trading off. Um, it's exploring. Um... There's an argument here for River Herald Guide. I'm going to play River Herald Guide. I'm going to get to use that. Okay, that, that that's another good creature that can go on top. Um, and next. And end the turn. And I think we have to just trade with a 3-2 because we're taking too much damage. We'll see if he's got another removal spell. What? Okay, one of them was a land. He topped out to land. Another glorifier of suffering. Very interesting. Okay, so he's sacrificing the 1-1 one, one now. Okay. 
made him do that, that's good. Yeah, he wants to pump up obviously the thing with the death trigger. Right, trade with the four three. So the interesting thing here, if I play a creature, he has a removal spell I lose. Um, I, well, I lose, I'll lose next turn. If I play the creature, well, if I play the boulder, kill something, then I go down to two. Well, if he has a fungal fortitude, then I would lose. Um, Should I play the biggest creature I've got? Yeah. Another removal spell. That's what I'm feeling. Another tithing blade. Impressive what you can do on just two mana in the early game. We'll block... Um, how about we block a 3-2 because he obviously gets a scry and a treasure token off that. He might just have fungal fortitude and win, so that that wins in either in either case I was talking about. With the, uh, okay, Cosmian Blast. And he does have removal, but at least we trade off one of his creatures. Oh my god, he has another creature. And it's two damage going through, so we need two blockers, so we lose. Basically, don't we? Oh well, that's... Uh oh. Yes. Very interesting, right. What does that change? It means we've got 8 mana. But we need 10 mana to do both of these. Um, right, okay. Disrupt a Wonder Glyph comes out, I think. Um, that's 5 mana. So I think the only thing we can do is cycle and hope to get top deck another blocker for two mana, which we do have. Oh my god. That was lucky. Right, Does he, did he top deck another removal spell? Of course, this guy uh, has to jump block. My two, my two two has to jump block one of these. Adaptive gem guard, oh no. So you can just keep pumping that thing up. But he doesn't attack, which is nice. I play a land, I think. Uh, so this is discover four for five. This is for, again, this spends, we spend five with this, but it, it just puts it in the hand. So I think it's hidden volcano. Activate as a sorcery. Hope for the best. Okay, we get a creature. It's basically chomp block his 4-4. Four, four. I suppose that's the thing. If you only draw two lands, you do draw a lot of action cards. So, um... issue there, so obviously 1-1 one, one chomp blocks there. I think we'll kill a 3-3. Three, three. It gives him a scry, but I think it's uh, better than the alternative. Got two chomp blocks. I've got to keep drawing these chomp blockers. Did he manage to kill every single big creature I played? Um, basically. Well, he's, he's sorry. He's played. <laughs> he managed to uh, draw a third, another creature. 
yet another creature. So, uh, yeah, we're in trouble. We've got a cheap uh, blocker here. That doesn't get, yeah, we don't get the twists and turns thing on that anymore. Um, so let's play that. And let's do that. And try and find a two drop creature. We shall block with. Burning Sun Cavalry, yeah! Okay. <laughs> Hanging on by the fingernails. Burning Sun Cavalry, no attacks. What does this do? Imagine this guy's playing 16 or less land. So, block the 2-2. Two, two. You chump block a 5-5. Five, five. You block 2-3. Family reunion. So, bad things happen. He would... So, he's just top-decked like a pro. <laughs> he top-decks the perfect... Um, uh, combat trick for uh, that situation. Um, right, we get another blocker. The issue here is... Um, we run out of life points. Uh, yeah, never mind. Um, oh dear. Right, do that. So, yeah, all the sort of aggro. Cannot handle it. It's, um... Yeah, he's able to deal with my big creatures. If you control the removal for the creature, the big ones, then that's it, really. He's got obviously running fewer lands and uh, drawing too much action for me to deal with. I mean, I got my, um, I did actually get my card advantage thing online at the end, but it's just, I just didn't have the mana to use it and play things every turn. Interesting game, though. You would think with him stuck on two land for two or three turns. It might have been a different outcome, but he did have, he had the two mana removal spells and uh, combat tricks. We have a twists and turns. We can play it on turn one. Um, We miss we miss out on being able to have a creature explore. I'm gonna say that's fine. So, yeah, obviously that would have been great. <laughs> Never mind. Kills that. Gonna see. A, I guess we're gonna see a lot of tithing blades. I'll have to check if this is the same player again. I, I didn't make note of their name. Uh, let's plundering pirates. Actually, curve out very nicely here. Could even do panic to Bultasaur next turn. It's another tithing blade. Tithing blades all over the shop. Great, love it. Um, let's actually. Let's do a Disruptor Wonderglyph, because we don't need to use that treasure if we don't have to. Tiding Blade number three. Oh no, it's the best flying creature. The best, well, the best uh, flying common. Um, right, let's swing in. Uh, 
Uh, do do we just play our reach creature? I think yeah. Let's just play our reach creature, and if he's got removal, he probably wins. Five damage to a tapped creature. And then, yes, he has literally two removal spells. Not just one, two removal spells on top of his uh, two hiding blades. So that that's four removal in the top 12 cards. That's pretty impressive. And the mana to cast them all. Uh, must be nice. This only destroys artifacts and enchantments. So we could kill a golem token. Uh, I'm going to play Burning Sun Cavalry. I will mount this like this and play the mountain. And removal spell number five, maybe? does something, doesn't it? So it comes, it drains a, like a one point drain life. Okay. Um, probably worth killing with this with over the edge, to be honest. Uh, or we could explore with this twice, so we can get mana for the uh, land for the boulder, and then kill this thing. Uh, yeah, let's do the exploring thing. Okay, we don't... Uh, oh, we can put that on the bottom. Plundering pirate. <laughs> That's good. Well, we can... I think we put that in the graveyard. Earthshaker Dreadmore, oh my god. Uh, put it in the on the bottom, we don't have mana for it. And the Brontodon is pretty cool. Let's put it on the bottom. Well, I mean, into the graveyard. Phew. Um, just, just trying to hit a lot. And end the turn. And yeah, Brontodon also could have been used to kill this thing, I suppose. Vito's Inquisitor. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we can, yeah, sure. Good stuff. And he has another creature. Oh, good. Look at when they just... They can... Draw five removal spells and have three creatures. Let's see. How many things died, actually? Yeah, quite a few things. Uh, okay, my turn. Let's see if we can top deck a land. Yeah, it's a tap land. Of course it is. Um, let's block. Thinking about these cards I chucked in the graveyard. Yeah, I guess that would have set me up for the boulder if I kept the pirate on top. Oh, right. I'm just gonna get a roll out of four creatures now. Thought I'll fall on that. Okay, sure. Just gonna get a uh, basic land. Actually, somebody playing volatile fall in the main deck. I guess it's fine, it's just you don't really... I mean, he's, he's used the activated ability on it, which I wouldn't recommend, but... Um, okay, he's actually given me an untapped um, mana, which is nice for nice of him. Oh yeah, um, that's right. Can you tap a creature? 
could have killed that before the uh, attack phase, I suppose. I'm going to run away with Boulder. At least we get to cast it. Take out the flyer. Yeah, take out the flyer. Sure. Um, doesn't do much after you've uh, made it actually. Just sit, sort of sits there. You get two blockers. It's not going to be enough, unfortunately. I'm getting killed by that. For good measure. So, yeah, the problem with uh, twists and turns, yeah, it's just, it's not a creature, and it's not a creature as well. Um, so, you, you against these just removal decks, you just lose. You're just short one creature. Uh, let's see. Let's think about these things here. Okay, well I should die in his upkeep phase. Let's go ahead and attack. For fun. Okay. to the, uh, want to call it Diabolic Edict. But yeah, drawing, like, was it four removal spells in the top 12 cards? Yep, that's going to be uh, challenging for my deck, I think. So probably the 0-3, it looks like. Yeah, it's two ores of removal tribal decks, basically. But yeah, Let's see if it's another Tithing Blade deck. I think I am playing uh, at least 17 creatures in this one. Okay. How about, if they're both two drops, we play a two drop on turn three, followed by twists and turns. We'll give it, we can explore. That makes sense to me. But, we also have that to play on turn three. Um, yeah. I don't know, I, don't, I could play twists and turns on turn one, but let's not do that. Let's, uh... Get to see if the Sentinel can do anything. We're up against green, so uh, probably. Well, it's a it's a ramp deck, so I'll get to, we'll get to see. Uh, we might our creatures might live slightly longer. It's green blue. Okay. Yeah, this turns into a six six. A really good six six actually, but it needs double blue. Um, so I could do the twists and turns here. This might be a good turn to do that and do explore with the uh, Burning Sun Cavalry. So I can hit for more damage. And s save the Sentinel for next turn. Seems reasonable. I reckon we'll get enough land to play this back. Uh, 
Right, it's another Burning Sun Cavalry on top. Which is going to be... It's going to attack like a 3-3. Three, three. Um, I think that's fine. That's a bit of extra pressure, maybe. I could have scryed it to the bottom. I'm keeping it on top. Attack for four. What does he have actually? Oh, he's forest cycling, okay. I, I'm gonna. Th yeah, I should have ditched that to get another land for the. Uh, I think that's uh, what I should have done. Disturbed slumber means I have to block and the yearling dies. Okay. That's to be blocked. That's to be. Okay, you got the uh, River Herald Scout out. Just trying to think. Oh, because he's, he's tapped the uh, Poison Dark Frog. I have to block it, so yeah, that's working like a. Move the spell. And I will put a mountain. So that's north the name of the city. And we'll map cavalry. Lovely, yes. Give me that forest off the top and attack. Get a map to open when this attacks. Okay, right, well, we're gonna have. He's got seven mana basically now in the hand. Um, attack with both of these. He can kill my rare, but uh, he has to. Probably has to. Trade with the frog. See if he's got. He might have a combat trick. But yeah, death touch on the frog. That's exactly what he's doing. Okay, I think it's uh, Burning Sun Cavalry, and I think spread the tokens out. I mean, I might regret this, but I think I'm going to get to Spry and okay, just ooh, destroy. Oh, target creature. Yeah, okay, that's that's a good card. Put that on top. Definitely want that on top. can either pop his iceberg or do a double explore. Seems good. So now we are at six mana. I will I'll double explore on one of these. Uh poison dark frog. I'm gonna say scry that to the bomb. 
we want more heavy hitters. That's a good heavy hitter. I'll uh I'll accept that. Alright, we got we got off the mark. So yeah, he had trouble with his blue getting blue mana there. We are what's nice, we're actually seeing twists and turns pretty much every game. And that was definitely very advantageous that game. It still feels like, uh, yeah, this is not the best uh, <laughs> deck in the format somehow. Things with lots of tithing blades are probably going to beat me. And and the 3-2 white flyer that makes a 1-1 one, one golem. That's... Because that has sort of built-in protection against tithing blade. It's like, it's kind of the obvious... Uh, two cards to go for in white and black, I suppose. Uh, oh, we actually go one drop, two drop, three drop. Looks good. Wandering Pirates seems good. Uh, remember that we can tap this the Dinosaur Armada, so I can play I could play the Altasaur next turn. Okay, a bit of mana. 2-2 two, two haste. Uh, are we gonna allow this? Yeah. Hit back for more. We actually draw a land. Uh, not going to use the treasure, I think. I panicked Altasaur. Makes sense to me. Tap three. Now, we can exile this. To make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Probably not doing that. Just one mana off our bristle back. So he's got blue. He's having trouble finding his blue as well. That gets stunned. And we get smacked for two, I guess. Or he's going to trade. Oh, he can, he can trade with the uh, big site conservator. Um, yes, Sunfire Torch. Uh, right, I think, um, okay, I'm going to play that Sunfire Torch. Equip to the pirate. Not attacking with the Law Keeper. I'm just going to attack with this guy. And burn something. Yeah, let's burn it. And I'll actually kill this before it can, he can get a Discover 4 out of it. See if he wants to trade. He does. Okay, good. That's it. Oh, Wailing Pirate 
There's lots of stuff to tap my things. So that's going to get tapped again. Okay. Okay, it's a land, and we get to do something cool. To play our big creature as long as we click the left hand side. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. This actually makes a creature, so he's got too many things he has to tap down now. Just remember, he's got five mana, he's got some, but standard. Um, okay, he, yes, this thing make, turns things into creatures, sure. And he can just whack me with that, and I could, uh, I could trade off. I'm not guaranteed to get a land off the top, and I'm tempted to just trade off. But I won't. I will uh, try and be brave and take the damage. Uh, okay, this plundering pirate means we get to... Stay, yeah, I'm going to attack with the 5-5 five five and stay back with some blockers. And I, could, I can always chuck the Lord Keeper in front of the 5-4 if he wants to uh, attack with that. So as I'm tapping again, finally, next turn. So he's facing quite a lot. But he is coming in with everything. Okay. Discarded a pirate hat. So I can... Well, let's, let's see what kind of combat trick he is uh, packing. I will go and block there, and actually I'll, I'll double block here and see if we get an easy trade. Or if he's going to commit resources to try and save his 5-4. His because I'm thinking, because of the, what we've just seen, white has the plus one, plus one team pump, so I don't think it's in any other colours. Oh, he discovers three when that goes to the graveyard. That's right. It is oh one of the <laughs> one of the best three drop creatures. Okay, let's see how it is. Do you have a counter spell? Well, here's the thing. He he may do because he's got du access to double blue with Sunbird Standard. I think I just try and kill this thing. Let's see if he's got the cow spell. At least he's pretty much tapping out. And then maybe I'm doing 12 damage, we'll see. Hopefully. Two cards left. Uh, okay, that goes to the top of the library. Fair enough. Uh, and let's see if he can do six extra damage this turn. One of them's a land. Oh, it's a six. Minutes. Okay. knows what I've got in my hand. Um, so if I attack with a 5-5 five five, he can 
jump block or he can trade. I think I throw a 5-5 five five at him to be honest and see what he does. He is trading I think. Okay, this doesn't get um, haste, so I'm going to attack. attack like that. Trade and a chump block, I think. Two and two. Burning Sun Cavalry. Um, it's aggressive. We've got a couple of things we that are dead, really. Uh, if my opponent gets like a three toughness, a two three creature, it kind of stops my fun. We're going second, so we're drawing an extra card. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble. I mean, it's okay. It is okay. I'm on two losses. Maybe he has to have a really bad start for this to be a problem for him. I need to just top deck some good stuff. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, let's see. Let's keep it and gamble. Might be okay against the Orzov style deck. He has Mulligan, so we're ahead on cards, so that's good. Right, he did. Um, he didn't do anything. Okay. Pretty sure he went first, and he just sort of let me go first, which is interesting. All right. Interesting strategy. He's doing nothing. What's he got up his sleeve here? Uh, he wants to discard this and then reanimate it. That's all I can think of. Uh, this gets me to four land. Let's, on, let's do this. Now he's going to play a plains. Helping hand, sweet. I love it. Okay, he had a strategy, and it's actually pretty darn good. It's a two mana creature, so you can bring it back into play with Helping Hand for one mana. Um, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, what can we do? I, what I want to do is Sentinel of the Nameless City. At least it's tapped, and I get another set of attacks. I'm going to map one of these and try and get a land off the top. 
so I can get to five land and my blocker. Very interesting gambit he's gone for there. Now is he just gonna start hitting me or has he got some uh he's gonna hold hold it back on defense? Compass no. Okay, he's got blue. He is holding back. Um, I'm so close to getting six land. Do I really want to mountain cycle? Well, I've got another big creature here, so. Um, right, so we don't. We won't get through. Uh, I think yeah we I think we do the the monstrous or but we don't ah well no we, the thing is we don't draw any cards off it we want to play our other stuff so I'll play I'll play end turn the other thing of course I mean this would have been a four five if I'd explored with it. Um, which would have been a bit harder for him to deal with. But I also knew these were going to get pumped up by me playing a dinosaur at some point, so... Swings and roundabouts. Okay, target pirate, you say. Okay. I'm not going to mountain cycle this because I'm only one land away. And there's the... Okay, there's the poison dart frog. To play. And that has reach, so that can... This effectively defends. But I'm not... I'm not in a hurry to defend. I think I can play... Get away with playing panicked Altasaur. It's a dinosaur, and then I can attack with a 4-4 Burning Sun Cavalry, which is pretty good. That puts him under a bit of pressure. No fired bricks. Isn't that this game of life or something? Is that right? life, yeah, again, a pl planes card. Very ambitious three-color deck he's got here. is going to lower his power. You actually do hit the land, so we're going, we'll go straight for a seismic uh, monstrosaur. Uh, it doesn't scale, does it? It's just yes or no, so I can instantly do that. I'll attack with a 4-4 again. Is there a white board sweeper? Double white. I have a feeling there is. Right. What is this set or the previous set? There's always a white board sweeper, I think, though. So, right, you can pump that flyer up. So, I'm going to pump up that to 4 4, makes sense. This can blow up each artifact with mana value X. This 
This this thing is so good, so it just does two direct damage to the opponent. I, when I read it, I assumed oh, it must be both people, <laughs> myself and the opponent. Not sure why. Uh, right. Uh, this draws two cards, so that's pretty amazing. to attack with 6-5 and a 4-4 four, four creature. Right, kill the angel, please. Please don't reanimate the angel again. Probably shouldn't matter if he does. Okay, that gets to four five. Oh, we got clockwork wrestler. So, he's out of cards, he's got four blockers, this makes two blockers if you spend seven mana, I can uh, tap that thing for two damage, that doesn't really attack, but it can do sort of two damage, yeah, good game, got the six six there. Take six. Doesn't have double strike or anything. I'll take six. Very unique strategy. I haven't seen that in draft before. Somebody skipping. Boy, it's, it's weird. He, they mulliganed. <laughs> So they were on six cards. So let's see. Um, and he went first. So he had to skip turn one. Skip. Draws to seven. Skip turn two. Uh, get to turn um, three. So eight cards. Skip turn three so he can discard. And then play a turn four. Four, four flyer. Which sometimes it'll... I guess it'll win, but yeah, the the trouble is mulliganing down to try and do execute that strategy is um, a bit dubious. Doing nothing for the first three turns. We kind of want to do something on turn two or turn three, I think. Uh, but we are guaranteed at least 50-50 with this one. Making a a comeback to rival Lazarus. What have we got here? Well, turn one. Turn three, turn four. Okay. Hey, it's a turn two play. Uh, we get to double explore. I, I, I think I want to do that. Oh, and it's a great card on top. <laughs> Not gra graveyarding that. And I'm attacking for three. Nice. So he knows I've got the Sentinel. Um, and 
he, we, we just play the Sentinel to see if he's got an answer. So he's, he's playing green, so he might not have an answer to it. That does it. Okay. Quick win. Okay, hey, three three drops. It's not ideal, is it? It's not. It's not what we call uh, the perfect uh, mana curve, but uh, I'll go with it. We get a three four creature on turn three, which is not bad. And I think we keep the boulder. Right, two the two three haste there, yeah. Just trigger. It's only right. My turn. Okay, I don't want to play a thrashing brontodon yet. I want to trade off with this, and I'm, the way I'm going to do that is by playing a plundering pirate. Look up the first removal spell, yeah. Uh, green red is a, is a bit about the power and toughness game, um, so Brontodon might just be a good call here. Uh, the guide explores. Let's let's go for the Brontodon and see if he has more removal for that. Oh, we could even tell you what we could over the edge. No, we won't over the edge because we want we want to use the treasure for the Monstrosaur. Like whoever can get that the big big boys out first is going to win. Oh, okay. Four three exploring dinosaur. Five three five four rather. And he's got that guy on top. I never got any of these. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we, we are so close to getting six. Okay, well, uh, now we play the River Herald Guide. It explores. See if we can hit a, a land. Don't need that. Try and get to the land, please. We can do over the edge. We're not going to do over the edge. Actually, yeah, four power, so that's perfect to trading on for the 5 4 with the Mosificus flying up. Hotfoot no. And no attack, okay. Oh well, plundering pirates, so we get another treasure, get a six drop next turn. I think we just do we attack with a four two? Well it trades no, we're gonna keep this back uh, to trade with He's got a bit of ramp there. Uh, 
Right, the issue we've got, if we play Monstrous Saw, we can't then cast the Dreadmoor. Um, I think we play this guy and try and get to a land. Uh, who's who's using the map token? That's the that's the question. I think yeah, Sentinel and Nameless City is using the map token, honestly. I'm not attacking this round. Land off the top, okay. Nice. Seismic next turn, then Earthshaker. Oh, we, well, we've got the boulder, you see. But let's uh, let's hold on to that. He's got his Earthshaker first. Okay. How much are you drawing? What's the damage? Drawing two, I think. Stick to my guns. I'm not going to get scared by the Dreadmore there. I'm going to play Seismic Monstrosaur. I'm thinking I I want to deal with the either let the Dreadmore through or double block it with my my non dinosaur creatures. got a boulder he's gonna use. Okay, no, we're just gonna get absolutely walloped. Three creatures can't block this turn. It's a bit of a breakthrough card that one, gotta say. What's didn't really look at that and the, uh, that's going in the uh let's try target artifact that player controls. Uh well, I guess I'm losing that treasure don't think I have any artifact creatures. Uh, yeah, he can do that. He can certainly do that. Great. So, I know he's got a combat trick. Uh, where is he going to use it, is the question. So, basically that's got eight toughness. That's got six toughness. Um, I th I think a double block on the axe jewel with these two. Then of course he doesn't have to use that on there, but it's uh, at least pretty much guaranteed trade. Unless he's got a, a different instant in his hand. And a braid, and he kills my four toughness thing. That's a bit of a disaster. Doesn't have to use it, of course. Uh, 
Another one one. Okay, my turn. Still got the two dinosaurs there. I can play another dinosaur. I can play my my dread more and draw two, and uh, it's probably the situation where I should do that. Uh, there's also a boulder to kill the Dreadmoor whilst it's tapped. Right. Um, whilst whilst his red mana, he, he, only, he doesn't have the right mana to, to uh, save that. Uh, and I think that that might be a good idea. So let's let's give that a shot actually. Pay six. We lose like the six mana, but I think we have to do that. And we're only on five, so. We can attack with the Sentinel, because it's got Vigilance. But he's got haste. Anything in it, any big creature in his hand is going to have haste from the Hotfoot Gnome. Um, Probably get pumped up as well. He's got another daring discovery, just wins. Attack with a 2-3, so we know it's basically a 4-5 creature. So I'll block there and we'll see what happens. I didn't look at these. Oh wait, that is sorcery speed. Something's happening. Malamet side, okay gets to 5 toughness, and that gets it to 7 toughness, so it actually survives. Okay. Fair enough. Didn't see that sequence of events, but sort of makes sense. Yeah, you can block that ball. He's going to block my map token. Fair enough. Alright. So that's going to be a 4-5 going forward. Could be worse. Um... Right, pirate could be quite good to get me to six mana. We can blow up the Malamet Scythe as well. Pirate, blow up the Scythe. Um, I am going to attack again with this guy. Use this as a disenchant and blow up Malamet Scythe. I didn't think about the stone tree. You need a cave, and it makes yeah, makes a five-five creature. Uh, that might have been the better idea. I've got. I always have Brontodon in my back pocket. He does have a lot of caves. Yeah. <coughs> So the reason, of course, the reason you draft volatile fault, it is another cave, and there's lots of things that need caves. Okay, that's going to get him something. Okay, you can get a permanent card back. That's that's bad news. Okay, he's getting the uh, six six dinosaur back, which will 
draw him one card. Yeah, he can indeed cast it, right? And it's getting to the stage where he's going to be able to push through a couple of extra attackers for, it looks like, three damage. If I can get another land, Bristleback might be a good idea. It's two blockers. So I have to make sure we pick the left hand side of the card. So we could. Well, we don't really want to chump block the eight dreadnought, but we can probably have to double block it. It's got a trample. Going for the. Oh, yeah, okay, that can. Uh, that powers the land uh, sources, actually. Ah, uh, okay, yes, I forgot about that one. That's, that's now an 8 8. He has one card left, which uh, just is a removal spell. Okay, great, so we are stuffed. Uh, yeah, you just basically top decks and removal. We have to deal with a nine power trampler. Um, not so easy. We have to let these two through. Three damage. So we've got to block this, block this, block this. Uh, block and have nine toughness in the way, which I think is impossible. But we'll try. So we have to do that to block all of the trample damage. We've got to block both of the three power things. So six damage is going to end up getting through. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Good game. But we got, we're stuck with our Earth Shaker Dreadmore still in the hand. Two dinosaurs still in the hand. We just sort of we bricked around five mana. We just and um, whereas he got all of his things out, drew extra cards. We never drew our extra cards from our Dreadmore. I was just I was just trying to build up my dinosaurs. It's just yeah, he had the initiative, and we c I just could not uh, develop out my hand. But yeah, that final sequence of sort of being able to recurse his his uh, Dreadmore, um, pump it to eight eight, have a removal spell <laughs> to kill my best creature, just all a bit, uh, just one thing too many there to defend against. So four three, we end up. Uh, Bit of a yeah, bit of a comeback from zero two, so that's that was nice. And we got to try out twists and turns, and uh, I think I saw it in the first three or four games, and it's quite good. But you kind of I was cursing it because it wasn't a creature or removal spell at a certain point. Sometimes that's all that matters against um, removal tribal decks. Anything that's enhancing your creatures it seems bad. This is also potentially giving you card advantage, more lands, but so it's not the yeah, it's it's fine probably. Uh, very funny game against the guy who did nothing the first three turns, so he could just because he'd mulliganed, 
and he went first. <laughs> so he had to skip his first three turns to discard his two mana angel and then reanimate it on turn four. It was pretty cool, but not ideal if you have to mulligan if you're going first and you're mulliganing <laughs> to, to to do that. And when I and I had I kept I kept a dodgy hand pretty dodgy hand, two mountains and three burning sun cavalry and two things that were expensive. So it was like a five card hand, but I thought if you know, against a slow start, it could be good. And uh it was quite a slow start. But things worked out. I did I did top deck for Forest at some point, so yeah, this was this was just okay, just fine. I like my plundering pirates making treasures. That's quite nice. It'd be nice if I had more dinosaurs in the deck. Um, wasn't much of a dinosaur deck. We have the Sentinel of the Nameless City, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it did get it got to swing in a few times. Uh, a lot of the time it was coming into play. I was using that map token aggressively to. A attack with something that didn't have summoning sickness uh, to, to pump something up um, a few times it would have been better to just pump the sentinel but I feel like I don't like doing that because it's putting all your eggs in one basket they they get if they've got the removal spell for the sentinel then you've you've lost that and the token so but um, yeah that's always uh, yeah risk and reward I suppose Uh, I think instead of Disruptor Wonderglyphs, I'm just thinking, where were the Dino... Dino... Mo Dino Automatons, I think they're called. Because I saw several in the draft. Apparently I didn't draft a single one. So I ended up with Disruptor Wonderglyphs instead. Um, so that seems a bit silly. A bit of an oversight. But there you go. That would have... Yeah, just a small Im improvement to the deck, I think. Yeah, we tried the. I think it's first time I tried the Runaway Boulder. Mm, killed a couple of things, but yeah, it's it's just too expensive. But I don't think we we cycled it at any point either. Anyway, so I think I think that is a video. We'll see if we get two packs. It's always bonus. That just one pack. That's fine. Anyway, yeah, I think that's the video. So uh, thanks for watching, and happy New Year.